In this video, we'll be taking apart the Samsung Galaxy M34 5G. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Before we begin, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic backplate. Now the camera bezel needs to be removed. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. At this point there are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. This black plastic cover also needs to be removed, so the fingerprint sensor cable can be disconnected from the main board. Now a plastic pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen, and ran along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing is also made of plastic. There are numerous antenna flex cables on the back housing, as well as the NFC antenna. Looking at the other side, we can see more antenna flex cables, as well as graphite film to help transfer heat. And the bottom speaker is located on the back housing. If you need to replace that, you just have to apply some heat and pry it off. The fingerprint sensor is held in place to the side of the back housing with the metal bracket. To replace that, you just pull up and remove the metal bracket which would release the fingerprint sensor. The battery cable cannot be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The red and blue coaxial cable can be disconnected by just popping them off. Here's a better look at the 13 megapixel front facing camera. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the main board. Looking at the main board, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 50 megapixel primary camera, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. Also, the primary camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The LED flash is located here and there are rubber gaskets around the connectors. The SIM and memory card reader is located on the back, as well as the proximity sensor, and the secondary microphone. There's also a graphite pad on the back shields to help transfer heat. Once the graphite pad has been peeled back, we can see a thermal pad on top of the processor and these chips. This flex cable connects the main board to the subboard, as well as the screen cable. If you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws and the back housing, and then you disconnect the flex cable which connects the subboard and the screen to the main board. You would lift up and pry off the screen cable from the subboard, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive and reapply the new screen, making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame, and reassemble the phone. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the subboard. 
The charger port and headphone jack are located on the subboard. Looking at the other side, we can see the primary microphone. To remove or replace the battery, there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the 6000 mAh battery. And even though this battery has an adhesive pull pouch to help you pry it off, the adhesive underneath it is extremely strong, so it's still difficult to pull up and pry out this battery. So you might need to use some isopropyl alcohol to help make it easier to pry it off. Once the battery has been removed and the film has been peeled off, we can see a copper heat pipe which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner and is held down with some adhesive, and the flex cable for the volume keys is located on this side. If you need to replace that, you just have to apply some heat and peel it off. The earpiece speaker is located on top, which is also held down with some adhesive. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it an 8 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.